Today, I want to show you how to create a GPX track using Google Earth. So all you need for this one is to use Google Earth, you don't need any other software. Um, in a past video, I showed you how to create a uh, an image overlay that you can actually use on your GPS. So I'll just use this right now, uh, just to get my 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 paths. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of tough to, to draw in the middle of the woods. Uh, you don't always see the path with all the trees. So I'll just use this uh, to get started with. So I want to right click, add a new path. Then I want to put my, my points roughly where I want to go. So I want to go right, left, right. So the more points, the more accurate. But in most situations, you won't need a lot of them. Uh, you can always use uh, the left mouse button. Just hold it down and draw a lot of points. But if you make a mistake, it's kind of long to uh, move all the points. Let's say, uh, like right here, if I were to put one point there, no biggie. I can always move it over there. But if you got 20 points to move, it gets boring. Um, yeah, let me just put more points. To draw the actual track. All right, so this is the the track I want on my GPS. Just call it yeah test. Want to make sure we can see it on on the map. Yeah, let's put it. So there it is on Google Earth. You can see the the actual track I want to send on my GPS. Now it's sad because we could. It would be awesome to be able to export directly to a GPX file, but you can't. So what you need to do is to right-click your actual track, and save place as. And you gotta select file types. File type is uh, you need to select KML. It's really important. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So again test and now I saved it on my computer as a KML file I can't use it with my GPS yet it's not gonna work so I'll just close that and I'll use a KML to GPX converter but as I said you don't have to I closed it down I hate Macs and I hate Windows I'm a Linux guy and anyway probably would have crashed anyway <laughs> All right, KML to GPX. So the first link is KML to GPX.com. That's the easy one. You click on there, and you browse for your file. It's on my desktop. Oops, and there it is. Convert, and boom, you have it. You can download it here and just put it on your GPS, and that's it. The other one I want to show you. It's called uh, GPS Visualizer um, slash GPS Babel, and it's more complete. It got it gives you more options. If I want to make a track with input format, that would be Google KML output GPX. And I'll just select my file which is here. Now this uses GPS Babel. Chances are that the other one also uses GPS Babel anyway, but uh, what I like about this one is that when you convert it, it'll actually give you the line that it used to convert. So if you want if you wanted to do it manually, if you wanted to get GPS Babel, which I highly recommend, you don't have to though, but it's a really nice thing to have. Um, I'll go on my desktop, you could just like send the line right there, because I know the test.camel file is right there. Actually, let me just there it is, test.kml, and I'll just put it back there, and it created that uh, test.gpx file that I can use on my on my uh, Garmin unit, so you don't, I don't have to go online to do that, I can always use the same line, change my file name for the input and output, and that will create GPX files, and it, it's easy to script if I were to make like 20 uh, KML files, I could just convert them at once with that. The other things that on Google Earth, I used one line. You could use multiple ones and make branches and like instead of I'll just show you instead. Google Earth. Oops. Right. Oh man. 
I should click don't show it again, but eh. All right, let's just say, eh. Add path. Oops. So I, I want to make a path here like this. It don't make sense, but eh. I could create another one. Path. And I could start it here, loop it around. So I could have multiple trails on this. Add path. So let's say I have multiple trails right there. Instead of right clicking on your path that you want to save, you click on that parent, which right now is temporary place. But you could make a, a folder and put everything in there. So I'll just do the same in uh, safe place as an KML file. And this way it'll save all of the lines. Uh, those are not, not routes. Keep in mind they're just GPX tracks. Um, but you can show them in your GPS and follow them if needed. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.